Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never... You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? You look a little str- I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary.
I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. The Native Americans? The tribes who were here first, who welcomed the settlers. Both cultures found a mutual symbiosis and thrived. Now before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So, you knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody got their wish. This day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow, I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. I bet the Blackwell founders would shit cats if they saw today's student body walking around like zombies on their phones. I've never seen so many missing persons posters for the same person.
Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too... Com